when we were looking at the engine selection process for Rocket 4, we looked at a number of things and we ended up selecting Ursa as a partner for a few reasons. One was fundamentally performance. One is economics. One is making sure that they're able to support the kinds of scale and reliability that we need and are creating with Rocket 4. And then the last was, did we feel that they would be a great partner to us? Ursa Major is a propulsion expert. That's what we do. That's what we want to be the best at. And so we are solely focused on propulsion so that Astra can solely focus on the vehicle. And we'll join forces to make sure that those two things work together. Ursa made it very clear that they wanted to mass produce an engine, which translates well to our goals to scale. We pride ourselves in our propulsion expertise, so much so that we have assembled a world-class team here, truly. On average, our engineers have about 50 flight experiences. Having you know a, a greater than 100-person company that's all focused on delivering an engine, producing an engine, qualifying the engine, and making sure that it's the most reliable thing we can have and fits with all the requirements we have. Padley ITV is a 6,500 pound thrust engine. It's our upper stage variant of Hadley, which means it's designed to operate in vacuum. It has free start capability to support that. We get quite a bit of thrust for much more fuel efficiency. To simplify the manufacturing of Rocket 4, both the first stage and the second stage share the same tank design. This predicated the upper stage to use a common dome. And as such, the dome diameter or the entire upper stage diameter is identical to the first stage at 72 inches. That carries much more fuel, gives you much more propellant to work with. And so we can manufacture it on the same tooling with the same processes. It also means that the volume available for payloads is quite a bit larger, which is great for our customers. We have a much higher emphasis on risk risk mitigation and risk identification by way of doing very detailed failure modes and effects analyses. With the added benefit that we now have a partner that can do this and have done this a number of times for different customers with different levels of fidelity. The centerpiece for us as, as the engine provider is engine level qualification. So we'll take two engine samples of the Hadley vacuum variant. We'll put them through an incredible test matrix of conditions. Typically that's about 40 hot fire tests, well over 3,000 seconds of runtime. So you're talking about many multiples of what it's really going to do in flight. We've known them for years and years and years and watched their progress and felt like they, as an organization, as a company, were well aligned with Astro. I can only fathom how this team will react when we are watching Rocket 4. It's going to be really incredible. And what the teams are working on together now to prepare for that moment gives me that added confidence that we're ready to go when that stage is.